Hello and welcome back to End Survival. I'm just here at the Enderman farm that we made in the last episode. And uh, yeah, farming a little bit of XP. But ow, we're going to improve this area today. Um, a lot actually, because I thought, first of all, that looks ugly. Secondly, that also looks ugly. Thirdly, do I have my light? Yes, I do. It only makes sense that my enchantment area is near my XP area. So that is what we will be doing today. I will be moving my enchantment room over. But not only that, I want to finally fully enchant all of my crystallite armor with level 30 enchantments. But also I want to make a way better sword. Well, okay, I do say way better, but I forgot the enchantments on this thing. I want to put a uh, sweeping edge on this thing. Um, and also, if we can, maybe enchant a few books that we will be able to use later on. So yeah, that is the goal for today's episode. I just need to get a little bit organized here. I also want to do some organizing here, but I'll do that off camera. We still have so many shadow berry seeds, it's incredible. Well, not sure shadow berry seeds, shadow berries. I don't even have enough, I don't even have enough charcoal to do that. So I will have to as well chop down a few trees, maybe just one over here somewhere. Oh, I forgot I don't have the elytra one. It's gonna be nice having that chrysolite armor, armor elytra back. Um, well, not back, but enchanted so I can use it properly. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take out that tree right there. I want to be able to eventually uh, grow some Terranea trees, maybe. So I think I might take out those two trees right there. Might do one tree per episode. Plus I'll get a lot of leaves which can be turned into bone meal, which we can then use for even more fireworks. All right, so how about, do I have silk touch on anything? I believe I do, iron pickaxe, right. That means I can silk touch these bookshelves up. Now I know that we did make uh, this Eh? Excuse me, I have so touch on this thing. I should... Okay. Now I know that we just made this enchantment room. And I will just have to figure out what else to use this room for. Actually, we could put the respawn anchor in here. Granted, I will probably have to use another crystal on it. Which is a little bit of a waste. But I could move it in here, decorate it maybe a little bit. And then place the respawn anchor in here. Then we have a safe area to spawn back if we do die at some point. I think that is a pretty good use of that room actually. Boom. There we go. Not bad at all. So that is the items right there. What I will be needing are uh, a lot of these leaves have right here actually. What I'm gonna do is probably make another diamond axe. We have so many diamonds that we don't really need them for anything specific so I'm just almost... I'm using diamond tools as if there were iron tools. Can you imagine that? But yeah, I think I've got to start off the episode with chopping down at... And I forgot. I forgot shears for the leaves. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and use all that iron. Get a bunch of shears. And yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna start off the episode with... I should probably move these. I think I'm gonna go ahead, actually, and put some pressure plates right there. There we go. Right. The third, the third time. Uh, th third go with this. I think we're gonna start off this episode with chopping down this tree right here. So let's just jump straight into a time lapse, get this street done, and then we can expand the area over there and hopefully be able to get loads and loads of experience. Let's begin. So I would say chopping down that big tree was very successful. A lot of wood, a lot of leaves, and considering I already have two stacks of... This word bark messes me up. Because I'm used to logs, but then when I'm about to say log, I see bark and my brain stops. We have two stacks of lacquerove... Uh, see, it happened again. Logs smelting into charcoal, which is going to be uh, very useful for creating even more fireworks. But now I think I have everything that I need, including the enchantment table, the bookshelves, the grindstone. Yeah. I think that is everything I need in order to improve the Enderman farm. But let us now fly over here and I'm gonna do something which I'm not sure if I can pull off or not. But I'm gonna land... Aha! Right here. Because I want to get rid of this pillar. <laughs> I want to get rid of this pillar because it is looking kind of ugly. And I just want this whole area right here to just basically float. But of course I want to improve the look of it a little bit for that reason. Be very careful right here. There we go. Perfect. 
And I brought these shears because I also want to get rid of this bridge right here. There we go. Now we're completely detached from the island, which I think looks a lot better. The next thing I want to do is get rid of these slabs right here. Now, in order to improve this, I need sweeping edge three on my diamond sword. I wonder if I can make the book. Golden sword, iron sword, enchanted paddle. And that gives me sweeping edge one. Ay ay ay, that's loud. Hmm. I could in theory make this book, but I would need one and one to combine two. Then I would need another one, so that is four. I would need four of these, which I could get. I'm just not sure how many paddles I have access to. So I don't think I'm quite gonna do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, equip my shears, and I'm gonna take this box of leaves, and I'm gonna take a bunch, and we're going to improve this place. Open this area up maybe a little bit, add some more storage, and I also want to definitely extend this out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some redecoration here. <laughs> I think I may or may not have gotten a little bit carried away with this project. I don't think I was planning on doing this much with it, but you know what? I'm actually quite happy with how this looks. I think it has really improved the look of it on the outside, but also very importantly on the inside as well. So we now have the possibility of enchanting with level 30 in here, which is really, really good. We have a little bit of a storage area over here. So when this gets full, we can move it over here, but also to store enchanted books and maybe some lapis lazuli and whatnot, which of course we will need. So yeah, I think that is pretty good. You're not supposed to be able to teleport over there buddy now i need sweeping edge on my sword on my sword which means oh wait i didn't get to place down this well i think it can attach to yep perfect that's perfect so yeah now i need to clean up my inventory and i need to get another diamond sword which i can hopefully enchant to get sweeping edge three on it and then i will be able to use that to get many many more levels because right now it just takes a little bit too long without having sweeping edge on my normal sword it has sharpness and everything else, but we need sweeping, uh, sweeping, sweeping, sweeping edge in order to be able to really do some damage here. So that is the next objective, and of course, to enchant, fully enchant the level, the crystal light armor with level 30 enchantments. Getting a, hmm, getting an ender chest down there is actually going to be very beneficial. First, though, I'm gonna offload these shulker boxes, and I'll be right back with you. I do not have a spare ender chest, but what I'm thinking is, did I encounter an ender chest anywhere that I have not taken? I think an ender chest can sometimes spawn with these uh, ruins here. Uh, so I'm looking to see if there's potentially a ruin somewhere that I have not been to, but I don't see one. I guess that can always wait. First, let me make the stuff that we need. Yeah, lapis lazuli. That is one thing that I just realized. Uh, enchanting with the enchantment table is gonna be expensive because we need raw amber. So I need to go ahead and get more ra raw amber because I need to be able to make more lapis lazuli. I will also need... Hmm. Do I have petals? I do have eight petals. Let's do some infusing then. I have not done this before, but we can use the infusement table in order to make sweeping edge books like I looked at earlier. It's just gonna take more lapis lazuli. So I need to go ahead and get a bunch of raw amber gem, which I can then turn into lapis lazuli, and then we can make a sweeping edge book, and then we will be able to enchant the crystallite armor using 30 level enchantments a whole lot easier. So I'm going to leave this stuff here. I'm gonna need some more fireworks, which, yep. That is a lot of charcoal right there. Should be able to go ahead and make a bunch of gunpowder. Now using the paper and the gunpowder, we now have a stack and 31 fireworks. 
That is really, really awesome. I'm only gonna take half a stack. I don't need this many on me. I think that should be good. So we'll mark the sweeping edge book. And I guess I'm off to, well, hmm. I feel like I've already been to these orange biomes. I think I need a new one. This could be an opportunity to explore a little bit in this area of the world here, which I think I'm gonna do. 30 watt fireworks should be plenty. Uh, do I need silk touch for anything? I do need my fortune 2 pickaxe, which I now have in order to get the amber. Going without that would have been pretty bad. All right, I think I'm just gonna go in this direction a little bit and then just go down when I reach this red biome. Hold up, I have just discovered some amber right over here, which I have not yet grabbed. Grab my fortune pickaxe. All right, that was already six amber gems just like that. Not too bad. It makes me wonder if there's more by this specific patch of land here, but it does not look like it, no. But we are now here at this weird red biome, which we actually found a few episodes ago. I don't remember exactly how many, but this biome is very, very cool looking. That's an end city right there. We're not really interested in that. We are interested in amber. There is a gateway, however, there's a gateway which will be useful to teleport directly to the Dragon Island. I will leave a bookmark. All right, so I'm thinking just going down this way to discover this area of the map and, or well, the world, and we will see what we see. Does that even make sense? I'm not sure. Potential ender chest? Yep, right there, ender chest. Boom, perfect. I also do remember, actually, that I did need some of this brimstone for my farm. All right, little bit of an update for you. I have explored this whole area down here. No sign of any orange biomes, and I doubt there's gonna be anything in here, but I will be taking a look. And if not, I guess I might need to go back up this way and hope, or just continue down this way. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, so far not looking too good. Well, I have been looking this whole area through and unless there's something in this black spot right here, I don't think we have an orange biome in this whole area. No orange biome, unfortunately. So now it's a question, where am I to go next? Do I go back up or do I continue to go down? And I think it would make sense to continue to go downwards. I am trying to think whether or not they contain what we're looking for. And I think I am gonna have a quick pit stop on this one. Let's see if there's potentially any amber in these chests, but I highly doubt that that's going to be the case. Nope, no amber, but I will, of course, see if there's anything else that I might as well grab on the way. Okay, okay, yep, 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 yep. This is starting to get a little bit too much. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. Not grab that, apparently. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. Grab, no, no, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's on, is it? Okay, just give me the block. Okay, Whew. stopping by that place. Yeah, it got us a few things, but was it worth it? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep exploring and I will be back when I find, if I find the biome that we are looking for or you might very well discover that there aren't one in the near vicinity and then I'm not sure what to do. But I'll update you in just a moment. Alright, so I'm a little bit further into the void here, but I found this hut right here. And realized that there's nothing in the chests, but we do have an eternal crystal. So stopping by these huts are definitely, definitely worth it because these things, in order to make them, requires an end crystal, which requires an eye of ender, which, well, is a little bit expensive. So that is definitely worth it if you spot them to stop and, uh, yeah, go in and get that crystal. And not even 10 seconds later, I have discovered a brand new, huge by the looks of it, orange biome right here very 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 good oh wow it could seem it goes far 
It goes really really far on both sides of the islands here. Finally, alright. Now comes the task of finding the amber itself. Which, by the looks of things, I have spotted three veins already. Which are, which should be at least, uh, somewhat reachable. Alright, we now have two stacks and two raw amber and I think that that is pretty good. What I do want to do really quickly though, since this is right here, hold on, is there no big chamber to this? Oh, I thought there would be a big chamber. That's why I went up here. But mission successful, two stacks right there, that is really, really good. Plus there is more where that came from. Nope, no chests up here, only shelter boxes and I have plenty of those, so not really interested in that. All right, well, there's at least one chest here, I'll take it. That is if I can survive. How is there so many of them? Like I know there's bonus and whatnot, but this is a lot. Okay, let me quickly look through this. Uh, and a per as guest is yes, I'll take it. Okay, there's nothing up here either. I think I'm just gonna leave. Well, not quite leave. Oh, I'm leaving to this. I mean, might as well, right? Let's drop that. Drop you. Pick up the extra and the chest. Oh yeah, more diamonds. That is like. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Hmm. Fortune 2. I have a Fortune 2 PX here. I could add that to that, but then the Curse of Vanishing would follow it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. And look at that. We even got an extra spare elytra right here with Mending and Unbreaking 3. That's pretty good. All right. I am now going to head home. Well, I will need to... Wait a minute. There was an ender chest in that... Uh, there was an ender chest in that tower. I need my extra fireworks. Yes, of course. And crystal in these ships. I forgot about that. Okay, that's good. Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> do I not have feather falling? I do not have feather falling on these diamond boots. Yikes! Okay, let me get half a stack of rockets here. And please let me out of this place. Okay, yeah, let me out, let me out. <laughs> Whew! Alright! So now we know that there's a huge orange biome over here. I didn't even discover all of it that we will be able to use in the future. But anyways, I'm gonna head home now and I will meet you back at base. I'll see you in a moment. Home sweet home. All right, I need to quickly organize my inventory here because it's a bit of a mess. We did get an extra terminite block though as well. This is looking really, really good. And now before I forget, down here by the farm, right there. Yep. I need to place two brimstone. Perfect. After many episodes, the sulfur farm is now 100% complete. <laughs> I've had to do that for a while now, but uh, yeah, it's done now. All right, now we can get back to the task at hand of converting raw amber into lapis lazuli and then make, I don't know why they're in English there, make the sweeping edge book. So in order to make four sweeping edge books, which is what I need, I will need four, eight, I will need 16 lapis lazuli, which is this. Should be the amount of Aurora Crystal Shards that I need. And then I will of course also need, in total, 16 raw amber. And if I remember the recipe correctly... Yep. A lot of patience as well, because this, this takes a while. <laughs> and final. That was 16 Lapis Lazuli right there. 16 amber gems used and also... One stack of Aurora Crystal Shards. These are pretty easy to get, so I'll just have to go mining for more. But now, this should be all that I need to get the Sweeping Edge books that I need. But first, I also need a few more ingredients. I keep forgetting where my crafting table is. I will need eight golden swords. I will need four iron swords, four books. 
and more Aurora Crystals. But that should be everything that I need in order to get the four Sweeping Edge books that we require. I will also be needing more Lapis Lazuli for when enchanting the armor, but let us start here first. First I need to make all the enchanted petals, which should be four. Yes, I need four enchanted petals, which shouldn't take as long as the Lapis Lazuli, hopefully. Nope, very quick, very nice. Oh, wrong recipe. Final one, there we go. All right, I think we are ready. So, Iron Sword at the bottom. Two golden swords on the right and the left. Lapis on all corners. Enchanted petal in the middle or at the top. And then a book in the center should result in a sweeping edge one book. This is actually looking really cool. I'm not sure how long this... Oh, that's how long the process takes. And sweeping edge one. So now I just need to do that three more times and we should be able to get sweeping edge three that's the third book and now for the final book right here boom that is four sweeping edge books and now we should be able hopefully this won't be too expensive hopefully yep sweeping edge two and if we combine these sweeping edge two and if then if we combine these, we get Sweeping Edge 3, and yep, we can apply to our Diamond Sword for just 10 levels, Sharpness 5, Knockback 2, Mending, Unbreak 3, and Sweeping Edge 3. This sword is now pretty much maxed out with all the enchantments that I probably will ever need. Now, of course, okay, this chest is, it's bugged. This chest is bugged. Um, now... I will still need some Lapis Lazuli because I will need to enchant every piece of the Crystallite armor. So this much I will need to convert into Lapis and that is not enough Aurora Crystal Shards. Time to harvest a crystal. I wonder how much we will get out of harvesting one full crystal. Like if I take this one, I know we get quite a lot per block. So how much will we get for harvesting this whole crystal? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I would absolutely love for this mod to have, which is probably easier said than done, is to have sounds playing when the infusement happens and when the infusement is complete as well. I think that would be a very cool touch to the whole infusing mechanism. But again, that is probably easy, way easier said than done. The effects though are really, really cool. Alright, I finally have enough Lapis Lazuli to enchant all of the Crystallite armor and I also got a bunch more Aurora Crystals. This chest is starting to get a little bit full. Uh, I will need to bring this with me and I will also need to bring all of this, but I'm not actually going to carry it. No, I'm, I'm gonna put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> because if I die, at least I don't lose this. So yeah, um, I also have an extra ender chest with me, which we can place. More shadow berries are being cooked. Awesome. All right, let's head on over to the new enchantment area. Also, I have no idea how long this episode is, by the way. If it's long, I do apologize. Let me know down below in the comments if you like the longer episodes or if you enjoy the shorter episodes more. Do let me know down below in the comments. It's a very interesting thing but anyways here we are i think i'm going to okay i don't have the the stairs with me but i'm gonna place that and i'm gonna do the same thing like i did with the with the crafty table over here to make this look a little bit more fancy all right well with sweeping edge now i just need to farm this for a little while and we should yeah huge huge difference right here <laughs> Now the question is, can they spawn fast enough? I have encountered a little bit of an issue. As you can see, it is a little bit slow, this farm right now, and I think I know why. If I break this block, that is a lot of rubble mite, which are all trying to make their way over here now. <laughs> But as you can see, there is a lot of them. There's a lot of them, and unfortunately, they spawn on the same blocks as the Endermen. And because I'm here, they don't see me, they're not aggravated, so they keep staying there, reducing 
the amount of Endermen that can spawn. This is an issue. And I don't know if there is a block that the Endermen spawn on that the rubble might doesn't spawn on. Maybe wood, maybe it's because it's some sort of stone block. I am not sure. But um, yeah, this is a little bit of an issue. Right, the rubble might has despawned, well, for now. As you can see, some are already making their way over. So this is becoming a little bit of an issue and I don't know what makes the rubble might despawn. Or not despawn, but not spawn. Oh, that's one. And there's two more and three more. Yeah, so yeah, I think you get the issue. I'm going to try something here. I have a stack of uh, planks here. I'm gonna attempt to land on that platform and replace the stone with planks and I will just need to get these guys out of here first without dying. Now nothing will spawn because I'm too close to it. But as soon as I jump over there, things here should start spawning. Aha, no rubble mites have spawned. Okay, so I am going to continue using this farm for, whoa, where did you come from? Okay, that might be a survivor. That might just be a survivor because I don't see any spawn. So I'm going to continue this. And hopefully, no more rubber might. I think this might actually have solved the problem. As you probably saw in that time lapse, it didn't quite help. But despite that, the farm was actually fairly. Uh, I shouldn't look out that window, they are gonna come rushing. Uh, despite that, the farm was actually fast enough. Fast enough for what we needed to do. So, I think it is time that we enchant our very first part of the armor, which is going to be this right here, the Elytra Crystallite. Now, I'm going to keep rolling these thorns too. That's very interesting. I want Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, and thorns if possible, of course. But I have just looked up. We are actually able to make Unbreaking books, so those are not a deal breaker. Now, Mending... I've been doing a little bit of a think, and I think my uh, custom crafting data pack will be updated for the next episode. So in between this one and the next one, because mending books are craftable if we can get bottle of enchanting. Now currently, I don't have access to villagers, so I don't have access to bottle of enchanting. But we do have access to infusion, and I think it makes sense that if we put a water bottle in here, surrounded with lapis that it converts that water bottle into a bottle of enchanting. I think that is fair, and that way we will be able to make uh, and get access to mending books. Now, I would like to be guaranteed protection 4 or unbreaking 3, which this one has. This one has protection 4, this one has thorns as well, and this one has protection 4. So I think we will be enchanting this one right here, the boots. Here we go. Depth Strider 3 and Protection 4, not bad. Again, we can make the Unbreaking Books. Granted, a little bit ex expensive with the Lapis, but next episode, I guess we'll just have to make a bunch of uh, bunch of books. <laughs> so that is the boots pretty much done. The Helmet next has Unbreaking 3, Thorns 2, Unbreaking 3, and Thorns 2 as well. It's a bit of a risk taking the Unbreaking, but I will take it. I believe it was on the leggings. Let's hope for the best. Protection 4 on Breaking 3, that is perfect right there. And it doesn't look like that these actually change like it normally happens in vanilla Minecraft. So yeah, I think I just have to go for it here because it doesn't seem like they get re-rolled. Wow. Aqua Affinity, Fire Protection 4, uh, Respiration 3, and Unbreaking 3. A very, very cool helmet, but none of this really have an effect on us except for the Unbreaking 3. And again, I can craft that. We don't have any fires. We barely have any water that we need to work around with. So this is most likely going to have to be a grindstone one. And again, thorns and thorns. So yeah, this is a little bit of a pain, but it has to be done. I wonder if it's going to get the same enchantments as before because it is so it is showing what it did before which is unbreaking three so i hope it doesn't get fire protection again only one way to find out okay protection four respiration unbreaking three that is excellent okay and this now has unbreaking three 
and Unbreaking 3. Okay, we are a little bit levels of uh, levels short, but I can make more just fine. All right, another 30 levels. Should we take this one or this one? I'm going to save the wings till last. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. We're getting exactly what we need right here. The only thing we're missing on the boots are Unbreaking 3, but again, we can make that in the next episode. I will be needing some more lapis, so let me just kill these Endermen. And as we fly back to the house, we will see how many rubber mites are actually on the platform, because I see a few. Yeah, as you can see, that's quite a lot taking up the mob cap, uh, preventing more Endermen to spawn than there could be, so let's... Fly back home, get some more lapis, enchant the wings, and then we have a full set of enchanted crystallite armor. Alright, now armed with nine more lapis lazuli and the armor elytra or the crystallite elytra. Ew. Fire protection four. That is not what I was hoping for, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the easiest one, or the lowest cost one, take it out, and get another 30 levels and re-enchant it. <laughs> protection three. Hmm, protection 3 is not quite where I want it to be. And we cannot make protection books. So, yep. Gonna redo it. Thorns 2 this time, so I will be going with a level 3 enchantment. Unbreaking 3 and Thorns 2. That was all. Not what we need. Of course, we got these items very easily. Um... And now this is gonna be what <laughs> is gonna cause us the most trouble. All right, we did it. Protection four right there. Now again, it does not have unbreaking three. Same with the boots, but we are able to do that ourselves using a bunch of diamonds, more enchanted petals, and then we can get an enchanted book of unbreaking. Now the only things we're missing are unbreaking on this and of course mending on everything that is if I add the recipe to be able to infuse bottle of enchanting. If you have any ideas on how to stop those guys from spawning please do let me know down below in the comments. Um, because yeah they're a pain. I think we will have to start off the next episode by harvesting the berries again and this time I think just convert them all into bone meal because well I have a lot of food as it is. I don't need any more food at the moment. But now we can finally actually take off this diamond armor here. We can put it on display and we can now equip our very own enchanted crystallite armor. We can even equip the wings. That is looking really really cool. I'm gonna keep the chest plate on for now. I don't want to use the wings until I get unbreaking uh, in the next episode which speaking of in the next episode we will be making these unbreaking books which means we will also need to find out where we can get the petals from which I believe I should be able to find fair find out fairly easily so we will be doing that in the next episode as well as maybe crafting some mending books as well. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, and if you're new, consider subscribing. And if you want to support me even further, you can head on over to my Patreon page down below in the description, or go to patreon.com slash binaryvigilante. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Really hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.